Welcome everybody to this video. My name is Max from Laser Beast Lab and today we're gonna go over doing a material test card. Uh, this is a free file provided by OnTech, so if you haven't downloaded this yet, go down to the description below and click the link to download this card. So you might be wondering, what is a material card and why is it important? So we'll jump right into that. The material test card is important to do um, because every machine is a little bit different. There's a lot of variables that go into doing engravings and cuttings. Uh, so it's important to do this test card for each material that you have so you get an idea of what those optimal settings are. The card will show you the best settings for speed and power that'll cut through the material that you chose. There's also the image engraving test down below and you could select a different mode in Lightburn to test out what each percentage of a grayscale bar will look like. And lastly, there is a selection of text on the right hand side that is set to outline mode and basically it gives you different sized text so you can see uh, where you can actually do an outline or where you should be doing engraving instead. All right, so now that we know and understand why a test card is important, let's go ahead, let's load up some material. I chose Baltic Birch for this example. So the first thing you wanna do when loading your material is set your focal distance. Now you may have your focal distance tool provided by Omtech. Go ahead and use that to set your distance and make adjustments on your machine. Mine is a manual focus machine, so I'm just gonna set that and then we're good to go. So once your material is set, let's go ahead and open that file that you downloaded up. We're gonna open that into Lightburn and immediately you'll see there are a ton of different layers and they have different settings. First thing we wanna do is label what material we're gonna use, what we loaded up in our machine just now. Uh, just as a quick overview, right here you'll see the speed up top. Uh, so you'll see 10 millimeters a second, power on the side at 40, and that circle that's there in that corner uh, should indicate the 10 millimeters a second at 40% power, just like the one at the other corner is 30 millimeters a second at 20% power. So down below your cut settings is your image engraving test. Now this is an image and it's a grayscale bar from zero to 100%. And this will give you kind of an idea of what your grayscale will look like. So when you open up Lightburn and select your image properties, uh, basically you could select a mode that you wanna test out. I have it on grayscale, but I'm gonna switch it to dither because I wanna see what dither looks like on that zero to 100 scale. So with that image engraving test, now we can change our settings to see what's optimal for us. I'm gonna go ahead and do 150 millimeters a second with 20% power at 300 DPI. And once I have those settings in place, I'm gonna go ahead and just type out with the font selection tool um, all those settings so that way on my material card, uh, I'll have them all in place so I can save for later. Now you can just physically write this on your material if you want to afterwards. I just think it's a lot cleaner to engrave it while we're already doing the test card. Um, also one thing to note too is since we're doing this test card, it's a great way you could save this for later and have a library of all the different materials that you plan on keeping in your inventory. Um, so just having it engraved right off the bat is probably a smarter thing to do. The third thing we have to test on this test card is the font size. This is set to outline mode, it's not filled. Um, so this will also indicate how fast your outline mode can go at what size. And it's just a fun little thing that's added to this test card uh, that's good to know later on in the future. So if for some reason you open this SVG file up and these profiles aren't set, what you can do is go down to each layer, there'll be the circles right there and you could just change it according to what those bars say. So that top corner over there, you're looking at 10 millimeters a second at 40% power. Um, just go through one by one and make those changes yourself so that way you have an accurate test card. So once you have all that dialed in, uh, and you have everything labeled with the settings that you chose, let's go ahead and uh, put it on our material. So I'm gonna use my camera, it just makes things easier for me. It's a great addition to my machine. If you don't have a camera, you could always use this little frame button in Lightburn. And what that frame button will do is it'll actually show you a guide of where it's gonna be placed on your work bin. So once you hit that frame button, you'll see that it'll just outline the area of where it's going to engrave. Whether you use the camera or the frame function, once you're confident it's gonna be on the material and it's well placed, uh, next we can go ahead and click that start button and start watching that magic happen. So one of the first parts of the test card that it started working on first was the image. Uh, it just got started right now, but you could already tell that with that dither setting, 
you can start to see from zero to 100% the different levels of that gradient, which is uh, so far an awesome profile that we picked out. So if you're at this part of the project where I am too, and you're just watching the magic happen inside your machine, and you have the time, go ahead and give us a like on this video if you appreciate it so far. That would be very encouraging for us to make more videos in the future. And if you're interested in seeing those videos in the future, please click subscribe to our YouTube channel at Omtech Laser, and we'll be sure to keep those videos coming. Well, now it's time to unveil the material test card. Just to note, there is a knot in my wood right there, so I'm gonna just make a mental note of that so it doesn't reflect my engraved settings and I don't change anything according to that. As I pull it up, you'll see there are some circles that drop out of place. Those are the best settings that I have on this machine so far. But looking through the light, I could see that there is some circles that are cut out, just haven't popped out yet. So I'm gonna give assistance right here and I'm just gonna use my thumb to pop out those. Anything that comes out easy, I'm gonna count as good settings, but the ones that are more difficult, uh, I'm gonna count those as bad settings. So I'm not gonna go ahead and use those holes and I want them to stay in place. So next time in the future, I'll know not to use them. So let's go ahead and read the card. Uh, you'll see that obviously all the circles that are cut out are good settings I can use to cut through this material. Something like this middle ground, 15 millimeters a second at 30% power is what I plan on using in the future. It's a good combination of speed and power that'll help preserve my tube life. So I can do 20% power, but then I'll knock my millimeters a second down to 10 and that might be a little too slow for me. The image engraving test here is a great example of what the machine can do. You'll see every single step of the way, it gets from light to dark. So dither worked out great for us and the settings I chose were on point. Now the font selection, you can see at the top, the smaller font doesn't work for the outline. I might do engrave next time, um, but I now know not to use that smaller font. I'll go ahead and show you the backside one more time. Uh, these weren't optimal cut settings. They were almost there. Maybe two and a half percent would have been good a little bit more, but at the 5% drop of power for the speed settings, it just didn't quite punch through. So if you want to do a more in-depth test, uh, something that has a smaller gap between power ranges and speed, Lightburn has a function built in to do a material test. So you can go up to laser tools up the top uh, select your material test and you'll see a dialog box that opens up that you can actually run these tests with. So here I have it set to power and speed just like our actual Omtech card is. Um, I'm gonna change that from 10 squares to five squares. I don't feel like I need that many, but if you do wanna go in depth, you can leave it at 10. Uh, and then you can set your power and you can set your speed and you can change the variable so you can understand your machine and see how that affects each material you decide to load up. So the fact that Lightburn has this built into their software uh, kind of goes to show how important it is to kind of run these tests on your materials and see how all of these variables change the output of your machine and how it affects the engraving and cutting. So play around with these functions a little bit and try a couple different numbers here and there and see how it affects the output of your machine to the material that you chose. So that wraps up our video today on the material test card. If you found this video useful, please make sure to give us a like and also subscribe to see more videos like this come out in the future. Uh, I hope this helps you understand why a material card is important and why it might be useful to have on hand in the future. So that way, next time you load your material up, you have a better idea of what the effects are going to be with the settings that you chose. Again, if you liked the video, give us a like and also a subscribe. And if you have any questions, let us know down below in the comments. Thanks so much.